and my channel is not an expert so remember everything you see here is not professionally done if you want to copy any of these things do them at your own risk with everything going on in the world right now i tend to find myself with a lot more time on my hands at home so i thought i'd put out this kind of fun video on the different types of way you can look at the case ejector on the Lee Pro 1000 and all the design issues you can look at and also the point of whenever you see a design there's always some way you can improve upon it and make it better okay this is a Lee Pro 1000 and this is set up with the original case ejector on it and obviously its main point is just to eject the cases as they come around. I'll zoom you in now for a closer look. So it's really simplistic here. It's just a piece of wire with a screw holding that wire in place. And as the shells come around, it's supposed to kick them off. So this is one of the issues people have with it here. It didn't in every case kick the case all the way off so now if I come up it's it's going to either drop that off or it would have smashed it into the top up here one of the issues that some people would experience with it would be as the cases come around here these are dropping smoothly sometimes as the cases would come around here they kind of bind up against this pin for some reason and then fall off and it would kind of cause your press just to at, operate kind of clunky or chunky it feel like things were binding on you or grabbing on you as the plate came around so one of the things I tried instead of a straight piece of wire here I made a curved piece of wire that I put in there so as the brass came around, pieces of brass came around it would hopefully deflect it more off into the side and make it a little bit more smooth. Okay on Thingiverse I found this design for a case ejector and I'll put the link below if you want to download it and copy it but this designer, he goes by the Architect 23, replaced this little piece of wire with this fabricated plastic part. It's kind of interesting. You can see instead of waiting for the case to come all the way around here before it kicks it out, it actually starts kicking it out right up there and I'll show you how it works. works pretty well. One of the things nice about having a 3D printer is in general you could rapidly change your designs. For looking at this one thing that I th saw was well to take this on and off you have to take this screw off and you have to take the top off here. Not a big deal but um, so I decided to put a little cutout here and you can see to save a little bit of time you can just drop that on there and that would replace it. There is no reason to have this connected across the top. You could save a little bit of time putting it on and off just like that. So here is the next phase. Just put it on there, slide it on and then bolt this on here. Or I should put say put the screw on that would be the next step so after putting this part in there my next thought was does this have to be screwed down and by that I mean I took a aluminum nail cut it to length and took a little hot melt glue glued it in and put that in there and the answer was no it did not have to be glued I'm sorry it did not have to be screwed down 
it could easily be put in there like that and it went nowhere it was happy just to stay there even though it's not securely fastened down just sat in place and if you've noticed the other issue here now is I've got very big hands and it's kind of hard for me to get in there and grab a hold of that and put it in place so I printed a little mushroom on there so I can grab it with two fingers and in this one I just glued in a little piece of brass stock, round stock and now it goes in and out and it's easy for me to grab with two fingers put in and out and I've ran at least a thousand rounds through this and this design has not caused me any troubles of course the next iteration on this design would be to print a part out with that little blast plastic stud there and I was worried about that being brittle or cracking off not been an issue this is a hundred percent infill and I'll put this design down below along with the original design and you can see pops in and out of there no problem so here is the final design and it flips right around no issues and even though this bounces a little bit it's never come off and like I said I have about a thousand rounds with this design that being said I was still having issues over at this ejector side as the cases would come around instead of a nice smooth transition through here I was getting a gritty feeling as this was coming around you could feel like something there was grit in the machine and it wasn't nice and smooth and the bottom line is is that I had to grind away part of the shell plate here and I'll show you that closer in a little bit of an area because what was happening is the plot the brass was slightly the brass was slightly tipping over and catching on a ledge here I'll put in a picture of the original press inserted in here so they have changed the plate on the design so I don't know if this new plate holds the brass a little bit lower so it can catch on this lip here there's a lip that goes all the way on the outside of this carousel here or the carrier and in the next photo I'll highlight with a red magic marker all the area that I had to grind off so I took a red magic marker in here that's all the area that I grinded with my rotary tool here and since I've grinded that area all the issues with case ejection have gone to zero so the question is was this original design with a pin and a screw holding it in place satisfactory and the issue was a design change along the way mandated that this should have been relieved in here so you didn't have the problems with the brass catching if you have an original Lee Pro 1000 and you have the issue with when the brass comes around there it's sort of like a gritty chunky feeling you'll feel it going <laughs> you'll feel the brass catching up against this edge that I ground away if you grind that away and keep the original pin put in the comments be below if that cures all the issues so I've changed two things at once this ejector pin case ejector went from this to this and this got ground away 
with both of those fixes I've run a probably about a thousand rounds through here zero issues but that being said maybe the only issue was just grinding this away like I said if you do this to your machine put comments below see what you found out although I will be keeping this design because this is this design is just so much more user friendly you put it on you put it off it takes five seconds uh, that used to drive me crazy putting this little pin back in there and putting that screw in there and with my big hands trying to hold everything in place why I screwed that down because obviously you you do occasionally have to take this off to take this plate off to clean everything and oil everything and this was just an irritation so both of these fixes here solved the issue solved an issue of this just being easier to take on and off and then relieving this with a, my little hand grinder there's no more issues with that gritty feeling or jamming um, cases down in there and again on your press you might have zero issues depending on when a design was made to this and if this ledge was in the way of it ejecting shells so thanks for watching hope for hope this helps somebody and what I always try to tell everybody is whenever I put any type of des design changes out there you're more than welcome to copy them but what's even better is to take somebody else's design find some way to improve upon it and make a better machine so have a nice day